What's up, Pack? My name is Will21, and this is a Minecraft mod install tutorial to how to install Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders for Minecraft version 1.2.5. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to back up your Minecraft files. So what you're going to do is, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to click on the globe, and you're going to type in percent sign app data percent sign, and hit enter. It's going to open up your roaming folder. You're, you're going to double-click on your mine, dot .minecraft folder. Once it's out, this is where all of your Minecraft files are held. What you can do is you're going to highlight everything within here, right-click, and choose copy. The next thing we're going to do is you're you going to right-click on your desktop or your place of choosing. Choose new and folder. I already have one name backup, but so name it whatever you want. You're going to double-click on it to open it up, right-click, and choose paste. This will back up all your Minecraft files, your last login, your texture packs, your saves, also your server.dat file. So in case you do visit servers, you can close out of your backup folder. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to highlight everything within the .minecraft folder again, and we're going to choose delete. They'll delete everything within your .minecraft folder because we're going to start with a fresh version of Minecraft. This will remove everything else. We did back up all your file, all your texture packs and saves. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to double click and launch Minecraft. You're going to enter in your username and password. We're going to log in. Once it logs in, it's going to re-download Minecraft. You can have your own method of pulling down a new version of Minecraft, but this is the version, this is the way that I do it. It's really super easy and only takes like 10 seconds. To verify that the version is Minecraft 1.2.5, this is a clean install for Minecraft 1.2.5. Also, all the links I'll be saying are down below. So once it says Minecraft 1.2.5, we're going to quit game. You're going to see all the new files within the .minecraft folder. We're going to keep this one open. Now, the links for down below is 7-zip, which I use for the RARing system or the uh, archiving system for the .jar and the zip files. Also, there's links for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders for 1.2.5, version 0 0.8, also for Optifine. Now, the version of Optifine I'm going to be using is the Optifine HD A2 standard for Minecraft 1.2.4 and 1.2.5. There is a preview. You can probably use this one and install it the same way, but I'm using this one. So once you you click on download here, also on Sonic Ether Unbelievable Shaders, you're going to scroll down and choose, this is for Windows, for everyone else, you choose every, everyone else, but the core one, you're gonna choose Windows. Once those two files are downloaded, you get the seven, you get the Optifine zip and Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. What you're gonna do is you're going to, in your .minecraft folder, you're gonna double click on the bin folder, you're gonna find where it says Minecraft, it should say executable jar. You're going to right click on that, choose 7-zip and open archive. In this archive, you're going to look for the meta-inf folder. You're going to click on it once and press delete on your keyboard. Because we need, we need to delete that. Once that is gone, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the Optifine zip file that you downloaded. Choose 7-zip and open archive. We're going to put these side by side. In the Optifine window, you're going to hit Control A to highlight all the files within here. You're going to click and drag them to the right hand side where the Minecraft.jar is and drop them on the class files below. You're going to hit yes. Do not, I repeat, do not drop them in any folders in the .minecraft file because that will cause an error. Once that is completed, you're going to close out of the Optifine zip. You're also going to close out of the Minecraft.jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch Minecraft. Log in. Minecraft's going to launch. Once it launches, we're going to verify that Optifine did install correctly. 
Not as much. My guy doesn't take a sweet time. Okay, it's good. So we're gonna go to options, video settings, and now we're gonna see animation, quality, performance. You're gonna see a whole bunch of other settings, which is awesome. We'll turn brown this up. We'll turn max FPS just because we can. Oh, there are just all a ton of information that Optifine adds to the game, which is awesome. Okay, it's done. We're going to quit game. So now Optifine's installed. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go, you're going to right-click on the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders Zip. Choose 7 Zip. Open Archive. Uh, what I did is I clicked and dragged the folder to the desktop and created this folder. That's all you have to do. Or extract it wherever you wish, where you can keep your files. And you can find where this is. What you're going to do is you're going to double-click on the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder for Windows. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on the installer application and say yes. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to go to the downloadable mods tab. You're going to right click on the only option that is right here and choose download. This will overwrite the previous copy of shaders. Is this okay? Yes. Once that's complete, you're going to go back to local mods. And what you're going to do is we're going to Click on Install Mods. It'll initialize, unpack, repack in the jar, and installation complete. Once that's done, you can close out of the installer. Once that's done, you can close out of the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder. And now we can relaunch Minecraft. Double click on Minecraft, wherever your shortcut is. You're going to hit Login. At this logs in, it's going to up, it's going to Launch Minecraft, obviously. We're single player. We're going to create a new world. We're going to go to creative. We're going to do test, create a new world. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Generates. OK. So right now, the shaders is installed. But right now, the depth of field is, is on. So you can tell by the focus on. If you look at something in the background, gets blurred. So what we're going to do is we're actually we're going to save and quits. And let's go back into Minecraft really quick. Relaunch it. Let's go back to single player. Play world. Right, definitely not it. Quits. Let's go back into the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder. Double click on the installer. Let's install mods again. It's done. Close out of that. Relaunch Minecraft. Log in. Yeah, uh, it's waiting to log in. Taking its sweet, sweet time. Okay, single player test. Go back in. Ah, shaders. Okay. That's the only one weird thing I've seen about this installing this version is that you have to like install it twice. Even after you download it and choose the correct version, it just doesn't it doesn't go correct. So that's what pretty much every single time that I've tried to install it, that's what I've had to do. So if it doesn't work the first time, you just get the depth of field. Use the use the installer again to relaunch it. And there you go. So this version does not have, it should have the wavy grass. It has wavy grass, but it doesn't have the wavy uh, trees. And I'll show you how to how to install and con configure that now. All right, so we're gonna close out of Minecraft. So that's Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders installed for Minecraft version 1.2.5. And this is, how to how, this is how to use the different configurations that you can download. Now, in your .minecraft folder, you're gonna see your bin folder. If you do not remember how to get there again, you click on the globe bottom left hand corner of the screen. You type in percent app data. I think I typed in correctly. App data percent. Double click on the dot Minecraft folder. There's your dot Minecraft folder. Now you double click on the bin folder and you're going to find the Minecraft jar. You're going to right click on Minecraft, 7 zip open archive. Now, within here, you're going to see a shaders folder. Double click on that. These are where all the shader configuration files are held. 
Now, when you go back to the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders uh, forum post, you're going to see you're going to see shader configurations. So there's ultra, ultra depth of field, ultra no motion blur or depth of field, defaults, lights, and then there's waving, just waving grass and leaves, waving grass, no waving leaves, no waving objects. So let's choose, say, ultra. So if you click on ultra, you go add fly. We don't care about this stuff. Top right hand corner, you're just going to click on skip. And so it actually goes. We're doing this live. Download that. It did a pop up, which is fantastic. Close that. Since that's downloading, we're going to completely back out of that. There we go. Okay, so the ultra finished downloading. So it's going to open that. Let's go drag the ultra zip to the desktop. I'm going to put that right there. We're going to right click on ultra, seven zip, open archive. All right, so you're going to see an ultra version 0 0.8 in here. I'm going to right click and here's all of the new files for the ultra configuration for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Now, this is only your system can really handle it. So if you want to get all the wavy stuff and all the cool stuff along with it, then what you can do is you're going to highlight all of these on, under the Ultra folder. Click and drag them to the left-hand side, wherever your Minecraft.jar is, shaders is. Drop it off. Yes, it'll overwrite everything. Once everything is overwritten, you're going to close out of both of those. We're going to relaunch Minecraft. Log in. After it logs in, single player, go into your world. Once you're in, now we get wavy trees. And I said it's the same configuration, same way to get back into the folder is all you do is download the specific configuration files within from Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders forum post. There's a whole bunch of different ones here. Same method, you go into the Minecraft.jar, you look for the shaders folder and cop and copy and drag them over to the to the shaders folder under Minecraft.jar. And that's how to swap out configurations. Alright everyone, my name is Wolf21. If you did enjoy this and you just did work for you, please leave a like down below. Also a comment. Also, there'll be an annotation on the screen or a link down below of the what mods you want to see installs for. Again, my name is Walt21, and as always, remember to rock on.